going on guys? My name is Hollow and thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today what I got for you guys is another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video and in today's video I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how you guys can possibly uh, get yourselves a nuclear. As I made a previous video talking about this uh, but in today's video I'm going to basically focus a little bit more around a class setup. Um, also I just recently got two nuclears today. Um, I just don't want to post them on this gameplay. I'm going to leave them for a later date. That way you guys have some nuclear gameplays to watch. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to basically try and, and, and talk to you guys um, some of the best class setups and how you should set up your class setups as well, you know, as your score streaks and things like that. You know, getting a nuke dial, which is basically a free-for-all nuclear, it's a little bit harder than getting a nuclear on Domination or any other, like, team-based objective game mode. Now, before we get into the class setup, um, there's something that I really want to let you guys know, and that is to always try and divide the map into, I would say, Depending on the size map, right? If it's a small map, probably like Combine or Aquarium, divide the map into like four and then patrol one fourth of the map, right? And you obviously want to patrol a, a part of the map that is high in traffic, which I hope that this much time into the game, uh, you guys have a general idea as to what parts of the map are busier than others. So after I give you guys this class setup, just basically a general class setup and more or less how you should set it up, I'm going to give you guys the score streaks and just a little mental tip so you guys can uh, basically get a little bit closer to that nuclear or if not just get it so uh, for me there's some weapons when playing free for all free for all is very hectic because you have no teammates to sometimes back you up right and you have no teammates to actually look at the minimap and kind of guide yourself by the teammate arrows so when you're playing free for all you want to make sure you look at your minimap literally every three to four seconds like you always want to be looking at your minimap whenever you hear some type of like gun sound look at your minimap Always keep an eye on that. Don't look at it for too long because you may get killed just because, you know, you don't have any teammates to kind of like back you up and things like that. But just keep that in mind. Your minimap is going to be your best friend always. Now, for this class setup, there are some certain weapons in this game since the suppressor has been buffed. There are some certain weapons in this game that you can actually run a suppressor. And just to give you a quick two of them is, I would say, the CUDA and the VMP. You can actually run a suppressor. Now, obviously, if you're running the CUDA, um, it's a lot better with the suppressor than the VMP because the VMP recoil is a little bit too jumpy but um if you are on a closed map you can definitely definitely go for the for the suppressor in the vmp trust me i've i've gotten a nuclear already with a vmp suppressed and gotten super close multiple times with a vmp suppressed so it's really really not that hard the only thing is you just got to watch out for like long engagements when it comes to gunfights with the vmp now for the kudo you can actually manage a medium sometimes long range engagement with the suppressor uh, but anyways let's start off with the cuda for instance here we got the cuda attachments we got grip and obviously no secondaries no attachments no lethals no tacticals for the perk ones four obviously four free for all you want to make sure you have six cents it's going to display a minimap indicator with the direction of a nearby enemy simply because there's so many times where i'm running into a room and there's somebody camping because it's free for all people camp a lot in free for all and six cents always saves my ass another reason why you want to make sure you equip six cents is because for instance let's say there's an enemy coming by um by the way the best thing when you hear somebody coming by the best thing is to stay still in a corner and wait for them to pass and then kill them don't try to be brave it's not considered camping it's just being a smart ass not a dumbass and literally jumping on top of them simply because they could easily shoot you or they could even have a knife equipped it and just knife the shit out of you and there it goes you knew right so just make sure you take advantage of that sixth sense that way it'll give you a general idea um that way you guys know when it is that they're going to turn into the room or into the corner that you guys are waiting for them so next up into the perks we got here we have hardwired and i would say scavenger you don't really need fast hands unless you're rushing but you know if you're going for nuclear i wouldn't suggest rushing so hardwired is absolutely insane it says immune to counter uv power core emp grenade and smoke screen won't trigger trip mines shock charges or c4 alarms reduces your digital imprint against enemy trackers and six cents so if you're waiting for somebody in the corner because you know he's right next to you on the other side of the wall and you have uh, hardwired you know you're most likely going to survive against a player that has six cents trust me it's going to help you you're going to survive against trip mines so many times, so many times in free for all, I see trip mines and I don't really have to mine them because I have, you know, I have hardwired and it just doesn't do anything to me. So it's kind of like I don't have to worry, you know, at the back of my head, I don't have to worry about people placing trip mines because they're never going to detonate or at least they don't detonate for a while. But anyways, next perk that we have here is scavenger. You obviously want to replenish bullets from enemies. If you're using a certain weapon, in this case, for example, the CUDA, you don't want to be using other weapons, right? So... If you get a weapon, it's because you like it, so you want to make sure you get ammo for it. So get the scavenger perk there on perk 2. Perk 3, if you're playing free for all, obviously this is a little bit tricky. If you have a headset, you're going to have a higher advantage um, as opposed to players that don't have a headset. So awareness and dead silence would be the best combination for sound whoring, which basically means you can hear footsteps. So if you don't have on headset, a pair of headsets that allows you 
to here uh, surround sound then you can still rock awareness because it'll still give you somewhat of a general idea that there's somebody nearby it's just gonna be up to you whether you you know you know how to look for them or or look at the mini map see if you see a red dot or anything like that but aside from that if you have a headset it's gonna be a lot a lot easier if not then you can probably go for something like blast suppressor or tactical mask even though I barely get stunned in this game guys honestly and blast suppressor is not as OP so I still think maybe awareness even though you won't really be able to tell directionally where they're coming from it'll still kind of just help you uh, be aware of your surroundings but that's all up to you guys so this would be kind of like a general class idea now you can do the same thing with the VMP try with suppressor on small maps only VMP suppressed I only recommend it on small maps not on anything like large maps or anything like that the CUDA you can kind of you know you, you can go with the CUDA because the CUDA is just really really overpowered and it works great with a suppressor so um, if the VMP wouldn't have been nerfed with the recoil then you could probably do the same thing with the VMP with large maps uh, but for the time being uh, this is a great setup obviously you can run a suppressor on every single weapon uh, this is just an idea if you guys are trying to go for the nuclear on free front you really don't care what you get it with I would say that your best bet would be a class setup kind of like this one so try it out it's gonna take you some time if you're not the greatest player out there but um, obviously it, it, you will get it you just got to be very very patient now when you look into the score streaks there's only three streaks you got to run and I promise you all you have to do is really work really 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 hard to these streaks so you're gonna get the UAV the counter UAV and the hater once you work your way up to the hater it's about 11 kills if you really work your butt off to the hater all you have to do once that hater is up is live on the mini map the hater literally tells you exactly where everybody's at you obviously want to use your other instincts you know keep in mind your ears are really important as well but when the hater is up try to pay attention to that uav or that that uh, mini map as much as you possibly can because it's really gonna save your ass and it's gonna allow you to know where everybody's at at every single given time so the hater is gonna be your best friend uav counter UAV, and hater then once you do that, if you can get the streaks again, you're obviously going to be able to get almost 100% guaranteed the nuclear. Now, me personally, once I get the hater up, I at least, minimal, I'll go on a 20-25 uh, gun streak. Just because the hater is so useful, especially on small maps. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much literally like for nuclear on free for all. This is a really, really solid class setup. I promise you, the crew works great with the suppressor now that it's been buffed. Um, and this is more or less what I recommend for you guys. If you guys want to check out the other video, it actually has some additional tips. I'll link it down in the description. You guys can feel free to check that out. Um, and just remember, divide the map into four or five depending on the map size. Live on the mini map. Work towards that hater. And after that, everything's going to be a lot easier. But just remember, you still could get killed. So be very, very, very careful. And the most simple, important tip I can give you is literally do not, do not chase enemies. Even if you hear them coming, don't chase them. Wait for them to come to you. So let me know down in the comments if you guys have gotten a nuclear. doesn't matter what it is, nuked out or just regular nuclear. Just comment in the comment section yes or no. I would like to see how many of you guys have actually been able to get one of these. So thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel. My name is Hollow, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.